All right, one, two, three. Okay, much better. All right. Now we're ready. PJs. Here he comes. Yeah. I don't want to watch the TV to the ladder. Listen, listen. What if you do this? Okie dokie. All right. Steve and Buddy here. Steph and Buddy here. Okay. From the Denman Homestead. <laughs> if you haven't caught one of our recent lives, you may not know the Steve joke. Did I but throw you off? Yes, you did. You threw me off. Um, so we weren't able to get to this last week, but we just so happened to have a kid-free night. It's home. such a rare occurrence. I don't even remember the last time this happened. Yeah. But we are at home alone. And we're about to be very kid-like. Yes. We're about to do something <laughs> like... So we are going to do uh, our next adventure in the Couples Edition Ad Adventure Challenge. Mm -hmm. So this is the date night adventure number two. Mm -hmm. These are the rules. Okay. Show them what it looks like. This is what it looks like. We scratch off, we scratch off one uh, challenge each uh, time we go live, except for the last one because we missed it, uh, or we missed the last two. <laughs> yes, it's been two weeks. Okay, collect all of the supplies needed for making s'mores, including the canned gel for the fire. Gather all the blankets and pillows that you can find. Spend some time building the perfect or not so perfect blanket fort. Mm. After you've built the blanket, make s'mores and watch a movie. Google the top 10 romance movies and pick one from this list. Yeah. So that's so, the plan for tonight. We are going, and let me show you, just in case you're new here, this is what the book looks like. Is it? Okay. We are about to get into it. And we're inviting you along to our couple's adventure. And we challenge you to do one too. Yeah. yeah. Do this adventure. Do this adventure. Or go back to our first one and try out the blind baker. The blind baker was really fun. <laughs> Which was really fun. Um, so are you ready? Ready. Let's go. Okay. Um, I'm going to change into something more comfortable. Change into something more comfortable, he says. Okay. Ready? All right. One, two, three. Okay. Much better. All right. Now we're ready. PJs. We are ready. Let me move this out of the way. Move the ottoman? You move the ottoman and I'll get sheets. Okay. Bye. That's your tent? <laughs> One person tent? <laughs> One person tent. Uh, I gotta get the ladder. Okay. Let's get the ladder. Do Make this easy. Do we have a sheet big enough? Let's attach multiple sheets together. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. I just told Buddy this is gonna take dedication. Bring in, look at him, he's bringing in the ladder. Or this PJ doll. 
Here he comes. I can tell you one thing. In all my years as a child, no one ever brought in a ladder. <laughs> this is why it's an adult oh, blanket fort. Okay. <clears throat> that makes sense. Okay, so... So we use this... You don't want to do it on the back of there, and that way we can somehow... The back of the couch... I think it needs to go that way. Okay. Oh, okay. That's what I'm thinking. We could even use this to like get it further. <laughs> Don't mess up my new couch. I'm thinking, listen, what if we turned it this way and so we could see through this hole and then that way, that way, that way the blanket went over it. To look through the TV through the ladder hole? <laughs> yeah. I don't know why it's the TV through the ladder hole. Listen, listen, what if we did this? Did you ever look through the ladder hole? Oh, yeah, that won't work. No. Wait, where's that other tripod? The one that the camera's on? No, the gray one. Up there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe. Let's see if we can get it to supposed to go over us though. Yes. Oh. That's what the side's for. <laughs> I don't know. How do kids do this? You Dude. know what? Maybe we made a pallet. Yeah. And just use chairs? Like yeah. Like normal, normal kids. Alright. Okay. Scrap the fancy stuff. Okay. Chairs and pallets. Chairs. I'll have you know, when I bought this couch, Buddy didn't want the ottoman. But now, the ottoman is coming in handy because we need it. For a fort. For the fort. Also, when you are above 10 years old and you're building a fort, you also need coffee. So Buddy's made us coffee while we build our couch fort. How are we gonna get the ottoman under there when there's a... We just have to go as far as it can go. Push the ottoman <laughs> all the way to the couch. 
can. S'mores. Oh, shoot. Okay. Alright. I think this tent for is a success. I think, any, guess what? We only used one sheet. Take note, children. There's only one sheet. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> one sheet being used for this awesome circus style tent in our living room. Could we put some sheets on the sides? Yes. But that's more it does laundry say, you have to worry about. It says that we have to use every blanket impossible or... I, we could look, we'll, I'll add a few more blankets. Let me give you a tour. Okay, here's our four guys. This is where we're going to watch the movie. And it's covered on all the sides except for one. Because on one side, this is where we're going to enter our fort. We'll be able to crawl through here and put our heads out the other side and watch the TV for the romance movie. But, now that we've gotten all this done, we need to make s'mores. We're about to s'more it up. So, I got some ethanol gel. We're gonna, we're gonna roast these marshmallows over it. How do you, is it, you just pop it off like that? Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, I think you just light it. You sure do. We're gonna light this sucker. Ooh. There it goes. Okay, can you see it? It's alive! It's got a 45 minute burn time. Not that we're gonna need it. No, we're not gonna need that. Ooh, that gets hot. Yeah. That's the whole point. <gasps> what? Let's not, let us not forget our Christmas gift from Connor. Oh, Connor got us a Christmas gift this year. That's right. Yeah. So, he's gonna be bummed out that we're using it without him. He's gonna be bummed out. But he got us a family gift for Christmas, and it's for the RV specifically when we go on trips. But I thought this would be a really good time to try it out. It's a s'mores making kit. Ingredients not included. All right. So. I have a secret about s'mores. Maybe you do too. Traditionally, when you think about s'mores, you think about the graham, the malo, and Hershey's chocolate, right? Or like chocolate on the graham. However, on one of our adventures, I decided to pick up some Reese's peanut butter thins. They're called thins. This one was a bar. It's in an bar actual bar, yeah. That's an actual bar, which I'd never seen before t the other day. Um, it's similar to the Hershey's milk chocolate bar, so that's why I got it. But yeah, if you want to like a cool spin on your s'mores, get flavored chocolates. Get caramel chocolate or like different chocolates that would go good with marshmallow. Yeah. Um, because I just thought, and it tastes so good. Like, and I don't, I'm not even a Reese's fan. Uh, but with that, with the marshmallow, I am a Reese's fan. Yeah. Do we need the instructions? All right, assembly instructions. Wait, there's a water reservoir lid? Why do you need a water reservoir lid? 
Oh. You put everything on there and then you put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. You put everything together and then you put it in the microwave for Oh, so, so it's without right. fire? Oh, yeah. okay. Well, so does that steam it then? Like, what does it do? Yeah, it must steam it. Hmm. But that doesn't mean that we, well, I mean, we could use it just as a press. Yeah. It's okay. Let's save this for the RV. Okay. Then. Yeah, we'll save it for you. We're going to save the s'mores for the RV. Yeah. Because it's neat to know that you don't need fire with it. Yeah, it's just a microwave. Bowl. Yeah, okay. Good to know. And, and Connor will be happy to know that we saved it for him. We saved it for Connor. All right. Got graham crackers. Got the graham. What kind of chocolate are you going for? Traditional? Reese's for sure. Reese's? How do you like your marshmallows done? Mm. I like them like toasted a, but not black. Like a rotisserie chicken? Yep. Okay. You're already done? Yeah, they're starting to burn. I like mine black. Yes, you do like yours burnt. Oh, we're missing some tops. Here's the thing though. When you like a charred marshmallow, the secret is you need to like allow it to melt just enough like you need to, you can't just like straight up char it, right? Because it's going to be solid and still gummy in the middle. Mm -hmm. You need to get that good golden bake on it. And then once it's good and almost like melted off your skewer, then you ignite it and char it to bits. And then right. it's like perfect because it's melted completely and charred. Yeah. I don't know, just the, uh, the over, the burned, charred, just not a big fan of it. You're not? No. You're not a fan of carb eating carbon? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, while you're watching, while you're finishing that, let me Google the top 10 romance movies. Start, we're getting there. We're getting that. Uh, oh, Lord. Okay, okay. See, this is good. This is what I'm talking about. You get them good and, and droopy. Yeah. Mmm. Perfect. I do need. This is going to be hot. It's going to be hot. Okay. Top 10 romance movies. Number 10. This is just the Forbes top 30 list. Number 10. The Notebook. Number 9. Monsoon Wedding. 2001. What? Never heard of it. Number 8. God's Own Country. 2017. Number 7. An Affair to Remember, 1957. Mm. Number eight, Pride and Prejudice. I'm oh, sorry, number six, Pride and Prejudice, 2005. My favorite. Number five, The Umbrellas of Cherbourg. Cherbourg. It's a French movie. <laughs> Skipping it. Number four, Roman Holiday, 1953. Oh, such a good one. Number three, Portrait of a Lady on Fire, 2019. Number two, In the Mood for Love, year 2000. Number one, Casablanca. Okay. What do you think? I think we need to watch Overboard. Oh, we're just going to skip this? <laughs> just going to break the rules? Yeah. What was Overboard about? That one's with Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn, and it was so cute, and you would really, I think you would really like it. Okay.
Can we watch it, please? Sure. So we're going to throw the rules out. <laughs> I'm sure it's on a list somewhere. At least you all know the top 10 movies according to Forbes. Uh, and we're going to watch Overboard with Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. So. Wait, let's show them our, our s'mores. Oh, yeah. And we need to get in our tent. Yes, but not with the s'mores. No, not, with, not on the couch. There's mine, not as burned. Steph's is toasty. Here, cheers. Ready? Mm-hmm. 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 Pretty good. Mm-hmm. 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 Marshmallow, Reese's. I hope we can rent that movie. Oh, I'm sure we can find it. <laughs> it's so sticky. Mm -hmm. mm. And this is why, kids, we don't eat on the couch. We're responsible for builders. Find it? I'm looking. I have seven remotes to choose from, so. <laughs> Alright everyone, we are about to start the movie. Let's see how good this overboard movie is starring Kurt Russell, Mike Haggerty, Goldie Hawn, and Edward Herman. <laughs> You're reading the character's name. <laughs> Alright, we're going to watch the movie. Hang in there till the end and a Buddy will give you his take. I've already seen it. You haven't. Yeah. I'll give you my review of it afterwards. Buddy's reviews. If it's a good... Um, Love movie. If it should be on a top ten list. Sure. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Dean and Annie. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> well, oh, for man. your first time seeing Overboard. <laughs> what a... It was, it was great. It was funny and a uh, happy ending, all the all the great stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Top ten. I told, yes. Yeah. I told Buddy, I said, you can tell the um, decade of the movie by the fact that, like, the beginning of the movie is the credits. Yeah. You know, like, you know the yeah. credits? How the big, bold letters flashing up with the mm -hmm. intro and you see all the credits. Yeah. 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 That's how you know how old the movie is. Yeah. It's an older movie, but it's such a good Yeah, it was great. feel love story. Yep. We did it, babe. Date night challenge number two. And tomorrow we'll find out what the next one is. Yes, we will. Yeah. Well, or well, today. Today, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Um, thank you so much for joining us on this date night adventure challenge, and we will catch you on the next one. Steven, buddy out. Bye. Bye.